Hey everyone, it's Melody Lane here. And uh, first, I want you to know I'm giving everybody 25% off of my digital paper store. The code is MLDDP25. If you are a Patreon supporter or a sponsor, you get 60% off, so do not use this code. Go get your 60% off. If you don't uh, know what that is, I will can tell you uh, later. I can give you a link. It's on the sponsors page and in Patreon in the pa secret post. And this expires Friday night. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, Hello Kitty here is wearing some of my digital paper. And next week, there's going to be new digital paper. because so I've been having fun and painting. Okay, let's get, oh, there's a link in the description for that. Where am I at? Here I am. Hey guys, hello. Finally got my hair colored again. Okay, so today, the this project, it was uh, made by, it was, Penny Bowen sent me a picture of a Pinterest Pinterest picture and asked me if I could make something like that in Design Space. And I think it was actually a die. And then I saw some website where somebody else made it and I didn't follow any of their directions because I wanted to make mine a little different. So here, let me show you the picture that Penny so she sent me this picture, this tree, and asked if I could do that. So that's what I, I took like over 10 test cuts to try to figure this out. So I finally did. I think I made mine better. And so I'll show you mine. Um, and I wanna give a shout out to everybody out there. Hey, Joan Superclutz, I don't see you here, but you'll be watching later. Thank you, Bobby and Jamie and everyone else. Thank you to all my sponsors and my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. And I absolutely have the best audience on YouTube. I, I totally love you guys. The chat here before the videos are amazing. And I love how you guys share and uh, help each other answer questions. If you have questions for what I'm doing, please put them in all caps so I can see them. Um, and, okay, I'm reading your chat. Okay, let's get to the project. Okay, let's go here first. Okay, I have my side camera set up so you can see these standing up instead of like just seeing over the top because then you really can't see anything. Um, so I made these in 3D and I glued the edges to the back. So, cause I kind of liked them that way. I was just playing around with them a lot. I made red, white, and blue, if you didn't notice. <laughs> this is glitter paper. And then I was gonna glue this as you can see. I was trying to glue this, but I was in a hurry cause we wanted to get this done so we could post a, oh, you guys can't see. I'm showing it and you guys can't see. Sorry. <laughs> so here's the red one. This is done with Cricut paper. The inside is green, but so it's double-sided paper. But I wanted to show you that you could do red, white, and blue. They don't have to be for Christmas. Isn't it, I just think it's pretty. And so I glued these edges to the back and made one that's 3D. And then I also made one that's flat too, so they stand up. And this one, I did not get the sides glue because on the glitter paper, the glue, you have to really hold it until it's um, dry. And I didn't have time, so I'm like, well, it's kind of cool like that. You don't have to glue them to the back. Actually, it was originally made, you know, like this. So they stick out more like a 3D tree. And then here's the blue one. And can you see that better now? I, I inked the edges on that and I think they're really pretty. I think they could be just decorations in all different colors. I think they're pretty. Okay, so then 
I made this card. I'm gonna switch over. Hold on. Um, why? Oh, I'm not on the overhead one. That's why? Okay, here I am. Okay, and then here I made a card. So there's two different files for these. Um, this one, hi Pam. I just saw that you were here. Um, I made two files. So I made a flat one that will go on a card and then I made the 3D one that can stand up. And I have more I'm gonna make here. But the one on the card, you can do two options. You could glue these down so it's more flat, or you can open it up. You can have some writing in here. And I have so many more ideas. So I'm gonna make one for Christmas. I'm also gonna make one for Halloween in black. Uh, I'm gonna make one, I think it says joy, love, peace, um and all those maybe merry christmas down here in the bottom i can't think right now but to have it say those things on the branches and i will share that with uh my patreon supporters and sponsors for the youtube um and then on halloween i'm going to do spooky words make it in black and then you open it up and i'm going to have eyeballs and have it say boo won't that be fun I just think that would be fun for Halloween. So make like a black tree and maybe a scary cat or something. And I just had snowflakes draw on the back of this with a silver pen. Can you see that? And if you got this file right away, you do not have this blue piece. I added that, I think yesterday or the day before. I added that to the file just recently. It's just a square sized. Um, so let's go ahead and make the card really fast. The trunk of the tree I made out of faux leather, out of the wood grain leather. And so all these other ones are double-sided. So we're going to use this side as the outside. And I also have snowflakes on this, but I was doing it with this one and I don't think it looks as good with this and snowflakes like this maybe is more of a spring tree with that paper i think yeah faith hope love that would be awesome so i think i'm not going to use the snowflakes on this one and just put that on here and i'm going to use this the mega runner just for this part Oh, and you know what? You guys always do this the last minute. Oh, and I also have these little things. Like I've had these, like I bought them for a dollar just years ago. Um, you can decorate your trees with these little pom-poms or with gems or with glitter glue. And I also thought about the like the white glitter glue. You can put on the top edge of these branches so it looks like snow. Wouldn't that be pretty? That would be pretty to put like snow on the top of these and then maybe just a little bit here and there. I think that'd be beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go around the edges. Actually, I'm gonna use this color. Just makes it look a little more finished and just I don't know. I just like it better. Yeah, Nouveau drops would be great on that. So this, these files have so many possibilities. 
Oh, I just got an idea. We could use the pine essential oil inside. I could uh, put felt on the inside. I could cut felt out with my Cricut and put that on the inside of my pine tree and smell pine. It would be a smelly card. You know, a scented card, I guess, not smelly. <laughs> I'm thinking of scratch and sniff and all that. That would be awesome. Nouveau drops are like glitter glue, kind of. Okay, I'm not very good at putting this on even. But we're just going to go with it. So there are score lines on here. So I'm going to fold these on the score lines. Nouveau is the brand of glitter drops. Pink, turquoise gem. I have these, I have all kinds of inks, tons of them. I have tons of stamps I don't use too. So you just fold on the score line. Okay, you guys, now this is the difficult part, okay? Watch. Bye, Callie. Bye. <laughs> Did you see how easy that was? Did you see? That was so easy, except for I keep forgetting I wanted to ink the tree. I've done this every single time. I did not use the score wheel on this because for me to use the score wheel, I have to go into a beta site because it's not available in design space yet. And I can only use projects that are in the beta site. And if I design a project in the beta site, the design goes away. So I spent a lot of time making this and I'm not gonna just do that so it goes away. If the design space was available with the scoring wheel, totally using the scoring wheel, especially like on this paper. I'm gonna show you this, we'll put this one together. But isn't that pretty? This is the Cricut Sparkle Paper. So you could use glitter paper, sparkle paper. You can make these in gold and just any color you want. So now I'm just marking the top edge of these. This one you can't see so well because it matches too well. Actually, I'm going to use... I'm gonna use a little bit of the brown, maybe on the bottom edge. Okay. Do you guys see the difference that made? Isn't that pretty? These are Versa Magic Dewdrop. Okay, so let's glue this down. Oh wait, first we have to glue the wood piece. Thank you for um, supporting me on Patreon. I'm just guessing about the middle of the page. And then this. Okay, now this one, I will glue the sides down so we can see the difference. So you can decide how you would prefer to have your card. And it might depend on if you're sending it and things like that. So I just like go to the top and then push that down. So you can totally be done with it now. And 
So I'm just gonna, I haven't done this. We're just gonna add some glue to the tips. So now this cannot be opened. Okay, you guys, get down there. Yeah, they're just ink pads. The score wheel is only for the maker. The Anna Griffin has a brand new um, maker machine. It's in rose, like a rose color. The inside is pink and the top is like a metallic pink. Bye Pam, have fun. Yeah, hold these down until they're dry. Oh, Beth, thank you. I like that idea of sticking them to the back also, but then I found out three of them stuck together is amazing. So let me show you that. Hi, Janet. Kelly has something exciting to talk to you about tonight when she gets home. Okay, so we have that tree. I better put this pin back in my glue. And then we have this one that will open. Isn't that cute? So what do you guys like best? Do you like the one that opens? Like, don't look at the paper, but maybe do you like open or closed better? Let me, there's the closed one. And there's the open one. Okay, you like the tree to open? Yeah, I think that's really cool to open it. And I don't know if it would fit a gift card or anything in here, or if we could even make it bigger to do that. Maybe I could possibly make it fatter tree somehow. And it's easier to make it open. Okay, everyone likes the open. I like the open too. Uh, let me show you what I thought of with these trees. Look at these trees. You can make them all the same color if you want, but they kind of fit perfectly together when you put three of them back to back. Like you could put three of them back to back and you could have them like this. So they're more open like that and have branches sticking out. Or you can glue the branches back like these two. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with them. Isn't that cool? Look, a red, white, and blue tree. But I would have to like put these back so they match together. Or maybe you could put them back and glue on top of the other tree, something like that.
I'll make Ray earrings. That would be fun. Okay, so let me show you how to put these together. Here's one out of fun paper. Let's do this one. So there are score lines on this. And this one we could really do either side. But I want a flower tree. These don't just have to be for Christmas. But you can decorate them. You can put gems on them. The Nouveau drops and glitter and anything. You can put brads on them. Oh, you guys, and Leah Griffith is going to send me her next book for me to review. And we may be doing something special from um, Cricket Make It Mountain a fun with crepe paper flowers. We may be doing a special video. Oh, you guys, you know what I forgot? The edges of the like I do every single time. So this is just an ink pad you use for stamps. You can use like a Sharpie or something too if you don't have these. You don't have to do this either. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna do the bottom too. Yeah, put little bells on them. That would be cool. I don't know that I will ever write a book. Oh, I forgot. This is the 3D one. I'm like trying to make it flat. So there are two different files. One is for 3D and one is for flat. Now you can keep this like this. Here, let me turn on my side of camera. Can you see that? Why can't I see that good? Oh, it's here. Let me put something behind it. There's so much behind, like, that's not, it's my messy area. But isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty to have a flowered thing like that. Now, let's flip it over. We could do it the other way. And you could do like I did on this one. Well, I bent these edges. But you can just glue the bottom if you want. And then you just kind of push it out. Hi, Angela. Oh, you guys. I'm sorry, I forgot to click the other button. Thank you. Okay, let me put that back so you can see it better. I was looking at the wrong place. Okay. There's that. And let me put this behind it. You see? Kind of hard to see in the camera. You can see better this way. <laughs> it's leaning back than see it when it's standing up. I think it's a view of the camera. Hi, Courtney. 
Okay, so now I'm going to undo it and flip it the other way so we can have a pink tree. You don't have to do any gluing with this. You see how easy this is? There. Now I got a new tree. Isn't that pretty? I think I like that color better. You can see it better. Well, you can see it better in the camera. It's pretty in person the other way. Do you guys see how easy it is? Should we make the silver pretty one? It's so easy. You just fold on the score lines. The hardest part is folding up here. And then you just kind of push these in. I haven't made it with the sparkle paper yet. Okay, this one's harder. <laughs> sparkle paper is not as movable as glitter paper or as cardstock. But it's so pretty. Okay, we gotta get this. I don't have it folded right. Okay, this one might need to be glued. <laughs> Actually, and I can just let me glue this here. Oh, wait. I'm going to glue it here. gonna happen this scared me okay I'm gonna switch cameras so you can see me above view the link to the files is in the um, description I think and um, if you're a sponsor you go to the community tab on my YouTube channel Okay, I don't know if this glue is working for this. It's hard to glue stuff to this. I wonder if the dry glue would work better. I'll try it on this one. I'm just getting glue on my mat, or <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that works much better. Well, it still wants to come apart. Okay, so this one is more difficult. Oh, I bet that red line tape would do it. Let's try it. I don't think I can do it on that piece. This is double-sided tape, really strong tape. You can get this at most craft stores. And I'm going to stick it up here. 
And now I have it going over the edge. And then I'm going to peel back the red part off. I'm gonna put it up there. So on the sparkle paper, you might need this really sticky double-sided tape. And maybe that not that big of a piece. So just push it on there and then peel off the red. That works so much better. Okay, do you get the idea? Okay, let's do some easier ones. <laughs> What do I have over here? Oh, I have that one. That would be pretty. And then just some green ones. Oh yeah, I was gonna do three green ones and put them together. That's what I was gonna do. Do you guys wanna do that? Oh, and this one would be pretty. Okay, let's do this one really fast. And then I'll put the three together and we will make a 3D, three 3D tree. Hi, Mary. So I just pull them there. And sometimes if it, if it wants to fall like that, what I do is I push it here. Whoops, not too far. See? You can't see. Look, it's right here. You can, I cannot even see that. Let me, let's look at the side. Um, there. Have you guys been seeing this? Wait a minute. You've been seeing it from the side the whole time, haven't you? I thought I had the other one. I'm so confused. I thought I was showing you that one. <laughs> Put the pin back in my glue. Okay, so we got that one. Let's, <laughs> I am so sorry guys. I have to get used to this new system that I have. Okay, so I'm just going to do this really fast. I'm going to fold these this way. And we are going to try to do three trees together. I've never done it, just kind of holding those together. And then I remember asking Callie, oh, can you cut out three trees of the same color so we can try that? So I'm not gonna glue these sides down. Oh, but I didn't even show you how to do that, did I? So gluing the sides on, all you do is place glue here, and I don't do it real tight for this bottom one. I let it stick out a little. And then these, you just have to put glue on the edge and you have to hold it down until the glue dries. And you just do one at a time or two at a time and hold that down. So you can see the back of these. Can you see the little pieces? They're just glued down, okay? But we're gonna try it like this because I don't know what that will look like. Uh, 
These were just scored with the scoring stylus When the scoring wheel is actually released in Design Space, I'll be able to use the scoring wheel on this project. See how fast these are to put together? These would be great for a centerpiece or something too. You could write family members' names on it for a holiday party or something, make a centerpiece with different trees with different names on them, can totally decorate them. Okay, so we're going to try to do something like this. I've not done it. Something like that. Okay, let's see. You can resize the tree. It's all just one piece. So you can just drag it to whatever size you want it. I would keep it proportionate. Like keep the lock locked on it because I don't know if you make it taller or wider at different proportions, if it will work, I don't know. Gonna try this. This might be better with two people. Okay. It's hard to push this down. Oh yeah, I don't have to have them closed. We're gonna figure this out, guys. There. Now we can push on it. So have them open. Okay, so now we have to put this one in. Okay, that's the glued sign. We have to op open it up a little to get this one in. Because it looks so much better with three than two. Okay, so we're gonna, do, we're gonna do it. Let's open this up. You guys are my guinea pigs. <laughs> For watching, I'm figuring it out. Oh, using paper clips to hold it until it dries is a great idea. So I'm putting glue right on the score line. This glue does um, uh, dry clear. I was gonna say disappear, but it dries clear. Okay. I'm going to add this one here. This might take a little practice, okay, you guys? I might not get it perfect. I do want these to be even on the bottom and the top. It's kind of a cool tree like that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm getting glue all over that edge of the tree. Remember, this is my first time doing this. <laughs> Make sure you're not gluing the sides together. Uh, 
I don't know. Hi, Sheila. Uh, the Cricut Maker has a scoring wheel. Ooh, maybe hot glue would work. Okay, let's see if we can close these now. Oh, no, that's not dry yet. So those of you that's just tuning in, let's let this dry more. We made some 3D trees. I made red, white, and blue. I already had these made. Or like this. Or this. And then I also made a card like this. And this opens up. And you can write something inside. And it's just a blank card. And here's another card I made. And we glued down the tree, but everybody likes it better to open. And so I'm trying to glue three of these together to make a really 3D tree. Okay, we're getting it. Got one side closed. Another side closed. Are we gonna do it? Okay. We have to add things to hide the flaws. Like that flaw right there. <laughs> um, it might take a little practice to get it on there or figured out. That side's not too bad. But you could decorate it with things and put, let's look at it from the side view. Um, you see it? I don't know. I don't know if I still like this one. This one's kind of a mess. And it's much harder than just making these trees. Or these trees. These are so easy. I think I like these the best. Just like that. Oops. But I think I like the pink one. And you could glue these down a little bit here if you wanted to. Whoops. If you need it more 3D, just push there. Got it? Yeah, maybe tack the limbs like the red one on this one, you think? Yeah, let me see. Like you could put it together like this. I wanted to try it differently to see. This would be easier, I think, to glue together. Like to glue those together. It seems easy. It's neater this way, I think. But you can do what you want with the file. Are there any questions? Oh yeah, tinsel. You can add tinsel for the flaws. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe double-sided tape would work better. Uh, have a center score line in the center of each tree. So it would be... Okay, let me try it. Okay, I'm adding a center score line. Okay, to add a center score line, you just fold it in half. Okay, added that to these two. Can you see this the back? Oh wait, wrong side. Yeah, that that might help. So then that's the two, and then you'd add another one. I don't have this one done. Let's just do this blue one. Wait, okay, here. I'm trying. Yeah, that might work. That might be easier. So if you're going to glue them together, you have the two score lines and then just fold it like this and then score down the center. So the inside will look like that. I think that will work. Oh, Bobby, yeah, a star. I was going to add a star to it. Um, you can just use a star from the shapes, a free star, and add to the size that you want at the top. I was going to do that. I forgot. You like the ones that are tacked down like this. Yeah, I think these are really pretty like this. Can you see? I think they're really pretty. And it's not too hard to um, glue them to the back. And thank you, Penny Bowen, for giving me that picture and asking me if I could make it in Design Space. All right, guys, it's 10 minutes till 7 my time. I think Ken Hess is doing a video. I think he posted on Facebook. I don't know. He, I think he's doing a video in 10 minutes. So go check out Ken Hess. Um... Let me look at his channel. Let me give you a link to his video if he has it. Um, I don't see where he has his live video ready. I have never used them to engrave, really. Uh, I think he's going, oh, here it is. Let me give you the link. That's a weird link.
Ken's creation slash live. How does he get that link? So there's a link to Ken's. So go bug him before it starts. We can go over there and chat. Oh, he's, it's going to be the Chat Couture Autumn Winter Catalog Reveal. I thought we weren't allowed to reveal that yet. I don't, hmm. I don't know if that's what that's going to be because I thought we couldn't do that till July 1st. But he knows more than I do. I didn't see his video last night. I know his dog died. All right, thank you guys. And I will, I might see you tomorrow, maybe. We'll see what happens. Keep an eye out tomorrow. If I'm on tomorrow, you don't want to miss it. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, love you, and I will see you in just a little bit on Ken's channel. I mean, you won't see me, but... Well, if you guys all cried through the video, I'm not watching it. All right, guys, love you. See you in the next one. Bye!